Hello, Soul Tribe. Welcome to the Daily Dish, or welcome back for those who have, are rejoining. Excuse me a minute while I. Ah, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Shit. I have a. Excuse me. Ugh. I'm having a <coughs> problem with ants that I just discovered yesterday, and they said to use um, uh, Windex, because Windex, they, they don't like Windex, and so. I thought I had it under control. Yesterday it seemed pretty cool, but there's some random ones. I shot one over here against the wall, and now I'm kind of asphyxiated because it really, the scent is strong as I sprayed so much Windex. It's annoying because it's coming through the air conditioning, and I don't really have anything in the room here that would constitute them, you know, except for my cup of coffee, which they were on, and I sprayed that with Windex on the outside. So I'm like dying here because I'm breathing it. Anyways, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to anyone who's new. Do join the tribe and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but for those who are coming back, welcome back. My deck's upside down, so let me readjust that. Um, so I'm just gonna preface this with like I do with all the other videos um, as I'm doing them. I don't know when I can upload this. So this is um, doing this Friday frequencies. It's our Friday energy for the weekend. So for Friday and the weekend. But, um, I don't know what I can upload because my internet is just so bad. It's just so, so bad. I, I use my hotspot on my phone, but I've run out of data, the high-speed data. And then, um, I don't know, maybe it cuts off when you use the hotspot. Maybe it just takes up all the data. But I try to use it um, to upload, and it won't work. And they're supposed to have internet in a community area here, which I keep going to, and it never works there either. Figuring, okay, I'll just call my crap over there, and I'll upload it over there. Anyway, so I'm doing these with the hopes that at some point I'll get them uploaded, but I do these freestyle, so um, whenever you watch it, whenever you come across it and it's uploaded, um, that's how I conduct my videos anyways. I just usually do daily, you know, Monday through Friday, and then, anyway, so this is, is for Friday frequencies, but whenever you're watching this, the energies, whatever you're going through now, it may apply, okay? And going towards the next few days or whatever, moving forward. All right, so let's get going here. I, if, if I... If you see me um, to jump off the side of the, the table here, it's because of the ants. Because I don't want critters, those kind of critters, in my space. And my neighbor next door, last night, she because it's really hot here, she had her door open and I guess she fell asleep. Because it was like, but I was like, holy freaking crap, there's stuff everywhere. And she's dirty, so I don't know, maybe that's where they're coming from. I'm not dirty, I like it clean. Okay, enough about me. Oh, the trials and tribulations. <laughs> All right, people, let's get let's get rolling here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. But um, so I did a moon reading. So if <laughs> it's depending on how long it was, it was uploaded before this, but I don't know when it was uploaded. But there's a moon reading, and I did the zodiac reads. I did a soul searching Sunday video that was already uploaded, thank God, and came out on Sunday. But after that, I lost all my internet. So, um, so oh, well, actually, I lost it on the 29th. Anyway, so check those out if you haven't already, okay? And um, I'm going to try to do love readings and some collective readings. Um, I've been called, been called to do a twin flame reading, and I can't do anything. The star card. <laughs> the star card. The ace of wands. All right, the four of pentacles. What's under that? The fool. Okay, what I'm hearing specifically here, the star card. We have something that we've been wishing we could do. There's the Six of Pentacles again. That has showed up in every single reading. So I'm going to put that there, and we're going to do this. So the Star card. Something that you've been wishing to do. And um, <coughs> I'm going to have to open my door. It's hot outside, so I don't want to open my door. That's probably why the ants are coming in. They're looking for water, probably. Um, anyways, for anybody who has ant problems, though, Windex works great. It really does. It kills them on the spot, so... I don't know what it does, don't, but it kills them. Um, some of us have done some healing. It's like I feel that some of us have dealt with some emotions and just pouring them out to the earth, the universe, and saying, this is how I feel, and letting it out, letting it out, releasing it is what I'm hearing. In the purest form. Being in touch with yourself in the purest form, realizing and being who you really are, and realizing 
the, the direction you want your life to go. So be, being in touch with your emotions, you're also pouring them out in a way that is helping you grow. You see how the person is pouring the water not only into the pool, but also into the earth. So it's like allowing yourself to grow and things around you to grow. And many of you have gotten some sort of inspiration. You're ready for a new start. You are ready for a new start. Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to this wish or this dream for yourself and haven't really felt the opportunity or felt like you could take that leap, but now you do. I'm sorry, I'm still looking for ants. Now you do. You're moving away from those negative thoughts that were telling you you couldn't do this. And that which you were, um, it's funny how this comes full circle. That which you were giving to, into your life, it was out of balance. You were giving to something in your life that wasn't really, you realize now what you should have been giving your time and energy to or your focus to. And by doing that, the six, the ten to the six is the four. Going from the four to the six, it's like you're letting go of this. You're letting go of this. You're letting go of the idea that you weren't able to do this. So instead of just holding on to this dream, you're letting it come to life now. And by doing that, oh, and there's the Ace of Pentacles, there's that opportunity. You learn some sort of lesson that's allowing you to enjoy the fruits of your labor now, what you've been working towards. And there's another opportunity coming. There's another opportunity coming for you that's going to make things even better than you anticipated. Well, okay there. Okay. Oh, guess what? I forgot three cards. Oh, no, wait. Today's Friday. Ooh, I forgot a number of cards here. I got all excited about the bottom. It doesn't matter about the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is still the bottom of the deck. But we have some other energies on the side that we will touch on. Okay, so what the energies are right now, so this is Friday frequencies, but the frequencies are kind of like the energies that are happening now going towards the weekend. It's a time of meditation, a time of spending a little time alone here and there. I mean, not the whole weekend, but um, maybe tonight, today's Friday, if I'm upload, uploading it on top, whatever you're watching this, maybe taking some time to yourself or sometime this weekend or the next few days, whenever, to really think about your life and realizing what in your life is causing you some heartache that's that's not serving you and your your if your highest good. Just looking. <laughs> I mean, I can't spray. There was an ant on the paper here. I can't spray on everything I have here. What's that? Oh, there's another dead one. What the hell? Excuse me. <laughs> there's another dead one. Oh, no, that's the same one. Okay, we're going to put you over here so I can toss you out. You know, because ants, you know, when they walk, they, what are they called, phenoms or something like that? They, they leave a little scent a trail for the other ants. I don't want them inviting their family here, okay? This is a single person place only. <laughs> I had a spider in my shower that I was, I named him Morty. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, yes. And I was kind of hoping, I, I kept him alive. I kept taking him out of the shower and I let him loose in the bathroom, but he was small, he was a baby. But I'm like, okay, I could use you now, Morty. There's ants over here, you could have a, you could have a feast over here. Oh, hell, hold on, there's another one. <laughs> Excuse me, this may be a long video. That's because I'm killing ants and they're on my papers, so I can't spray them. Ah, that makes me mad. And I'm allergic to a lot of chemicals, so I can have them come in and spray, but then it might affect my breathing. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles, you're aware of what is going to make you happy now. Maybe you weren't before. You're looking towards working towards emotional fulfillment here. So at the time I, I am recording this, we just had the full moon. I did a moon, like I said, I did a moon reading and what have you. And we're in the um, waxing gibbous phase. Damn ants. 
we're in the um, excuse me the waning gibbous phase the waning gibbous phase which is about realignment and setting new intentions and um or readjusting our intentions i should say and um transformation is the first quarter moon so we're going towards the new moon so setting our goals sorry for the next couple of weeks moving towards that okay and then maybe starting to take action on it um, just in general i mean everything happens in divine timing so maybe you're already taking some action on it but so uh, what you may not be aware of though is oh you may not be aware that not only will you be victorious when you make some sort of decision after spending some time and realizing your truth and realizing what is going to make you happy and deciding what direction you are not only going to be successful but you're making some public recognition from this whatever it may be for some of you i'm hearing is school we just had graduations but maybe you weren't quite done with school and you're taking summer school so you can finish you don't have to do another semester so you can be done and start the next leg of your journey for those of you who may be in high school college whatever it may be and now you're going to graduate and not only so this is the commencement it's it's you graduating but it's you or maybe a um, promotion at your job but you're thinking about what you can change in your life i'm thinking about changing the ants in this room so later on i'm going to have to go through here I have a box of stuff here, and it's like, well, that's annoying. My clothes and whatever, and it's like, okay, that's not. There's no food in there. Whatever. All right. So we have the four of wands in your possible challenge. So your challenge may be, again, there's some sort of celebration. Your challenge may be just trying to figure out. Which path to go on? That's what I'm hearing. Which path to go on? It's like a fork in the road. And you're not sure which way you want to go right now. Your challenge is trying to figure out what's going to be best for you. What's going to best align for your life. That's going to balance you out in a way that you're going to be happy. With the ultimate. Like choosing your path. And waiting for things. Sure, maybe you're at this point. You're just waiting for. You have two fours here, which is about growth, taking a pause, and growth. So it's taking a moment to appreciate where you've come so far, and you may not realize that. Be proud of the progress you're making, no matter how small. I found this um, a while back, and I did a video on it when I found it because it was random. It was. It was. I got out of a car. And it was right there. Like when I got out of the car, which is a weird place, and I didn't know what it was from. And what I saw, I saw the red, so I picked it up. And I don't usually pick stuff up, but I don't know what possessed me. It sort of looked like a gift card, though, to be honest with you. And it said, give to a stranger. And on the bottom of that, it says, we're not really strangers. Maybe some of you are familiar with this. I don't know. I wasn't. Be proud of the progress you're making, no matter how small. And not only was that helpful for me, but then I thought, and again, it says, we're not really strangers. I thought, this is like a message for the collective. And I found out later when I Googled it, that is from a game, a card from a game. But I thought it was odd, which is this one card when I stepped out of the car. There it was in the middle of a parking lot, just sitting there. And I picked it up, and I didn't read it until I got home, and I went, holy crap. But so that's what I'm hearing. Be, be proud of the progress you've made so far, you know. Um, you may still be on the journey, but you're going to be successful. And at some point, you're going to have to choose the path that you want to go on in regards to all this to get the ultimate happiness that you're looking for. All right, so that's the possible challenges or uh, possible obstacles. This is some action we can take. Staying focused on your goal. Do not lose sight of your goal, no matter what happens. There's a lot. I got the heebie-jeebies on my legs. This sucks. Um, take it. Take it day by day. And that's usually the Nine of Pentacles energy. But be proud of the progress you've made so far. But at the same time to realize that you can always learn. Every day is, is a chance to learn and grow. And that just because you may have graduated or you've succeed, succeeded in one thing doesn't mean you can't still add other things to your life. Other new goals. 
to even enhance your life even more, to create a cushion for your life that, you know, at some point, you know, you may make enough money where you can put in a retirement fund. So when you retire, you don't have to worry about how to pay for this or that. You know, you're not working. That's what I'm hearing. Now these over here are a little different than the weekday ones because on Friday I do Saturday, a uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday energies. So for Friday we have the world, nice, and the ace of swords, nice. This is the end of a cycle. We're moving, this is beautiful, moving towards, well, whatever we're moving towards. I was gonna say the last quarter moon, but whatever we're moving towards right now. So even if these are uploaded late, just think of these as little mini collective readings that are, that are meant to help you whenever you watch it. Um, there's some sort of clarity you're going to get through all of this. And again, with this, <clears throat> the three to the one is the two of swords. So you're going to do some meditation here that's going to give you some clarity. Something's going to become crystal clear to you, and you're going to, it's going to be a new way of you of thinking about things, and that your truth is going to come through, uh, whether it's Friday or moving forward. But that's the energy for today whenever you're watching this this is coming this is an end of a cycle and there's some truth that's going to be coming to you a new opportunity that you're going to realize is your true destination this is where your destiny a destination destiny um, <laughs> where you, you know this is your wish this truth is your actual wish that you wished for and um, the two of swords is at a crossroads and you may have had a hard time making some sort of decision like I said here choosing your path but going through all of that um, is going to help you get to this end of the cycle and moving forward. Now, Saturday's energy is the two of cups and the lovers. Isn't that funny? Duality. <laughs> and I see this card as partnership of the divine and the divine masculine and divine feminine. And this is the divine masculine and divine feminine card. Twin flame card here. Um, it could be a love situation. So take that as it resonates for some of you, but for the, uh, the rest of you, and that may just be a handful of one or two of you. Um, balancing out the energy between your mask, divine masculine and divine feminine is being in touch with your feelings, but also making wise choices from that, which is the same with the lovers. Sometimes the lovers is basically vice and virtue. It's easy, it's, it's tempting to take something that's right in front of us that may seem, you know, it may be wrapped up in a nice little box with a pretty bow, and then when you open it up, it's just like this plain old muddy rock. And it's not worth anything. Whereas taking the virtue, you may have had to wait for that to come. This one may be only wrapped in, I don't know, comic book newspaper, if they even have that anymore on the Sunday papers, some sort of comic book, um, you know, or maybe just some paper that isn't, or just, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's wrapped up in just some tissue paper or whatever. It's nothing fancy, but on the inside is like a golden ring or, you know, I don't know, something that is worth more to you than what you could have had if you had taken the other one. It's like, so making the right choices in your life. Instant gratification. Oh, a present. Oh, look how pretty a shiny bow. Blah, blah, blah. You open it, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Or maybe it's nice at the time. You're like, okay, this is cool. But then you go, grow bored of that, or it's just not. So it's, it's picking something that isn't going to be in your highest interest long term. Sometimes waiting for something, I choose to wait and see what can come along. I'm still looking for ants. I'm sorry. It's distracting me. I'm really sorry. The Sunday. Okay, this came in yesterday. Sunday's energy is the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So something from your past may be returning. Now, that's not the energy I got yesterday. But something or someone from your past may be returning. And with that comes to um, the Wheel of Fortune. Something that's going to change your life for the better. Now, it could be a person, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be something that, from your past, that meant something to you, that you're, you have fond memories of. 
Um, somebody may be coming to you with an apology. Maybe there was a falling out with somebody. This can be the apology card too. This can also be, so this is Twin Flame, this is Twin Flame, and this is Twin Flame. So for some of you, it may be a past love coming back. If you are in a Twin Flame situation, this could be applying to that possibly. Now, I had a calling to do, I'm feeling some strong Twin Flame energies, but I, because of the internet, I haven't done the video. I haven't recorded it because I only have so much space on my laptop here, my Chromebook. And so I have to be careful what I record ahead of time. And um, so I try to only do it in small little, you know, packets. And then I don't know when I can upload these, so I have to wait. But if, if you're interested in Twin Flame, I used to do them every Sunday way back when. I had stopped my channel for a couple for a couple of years, unfortunately. Not not my choice because of life circumstances. And I got back into it when I did have good internet. I'm not at that place anymore. I had to leave. Um, that was temporary as well. Um, and I left sooner than I was anticipating. Um, so I started. I did one recently. And then I'd like to do more. I'm not going to do them every Sunday, but uh, or every week. But if people are looking for that, then I will do it. Okay. Let's get to the Four of Swords. Seven of Swords, which showed up in, I think, yesterday's and the day before's video reading. Really be honest with yourself. What do you think about? Take some time to think about what being honest about your life. Because we can fool ourselves. The mind is very powerful. We can fool ourselves in ways that we think that things are going fine, or we think that this is where we're meant to be, this is where I'm at now, this is probably where I'm meant to be. Be careful with that. Because sometimes... We can get into a energy of being comfortable in a certain situation, which may not be the best situation for us, but changing can be a little bit daunting. You know what I mean? So change can be a little bit um, intimidating for some people. Okay. Seven of Wands for the Ten of Cups. I hear a couple of things here. The first one I heard was you may be resisting being defensive, resisting some help or resisting moving forward somehow. Or you have people or situations that are being put in front of you that like it's trying to block your progress. But stand your ground. Stand your ground and don't give up. Keep going. Because ultimately, you're going to get that happiness. Okay? Now, the Six of Pentacles. So you have the Six and the Seven. So what I'm hearing specifically with the Six of... Not Pentacles. I don't know why I said that. Six of... Sword, uh, not Swords either. Six of Wands. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> Maybe that, those two cards are mean something to some people in here. Um, the Six of Wands going to the seven of wands you may have people now this this is a work situation and if you've gotten a promotion you may have people who are jealous of that are not happy about that or you may have other people competing for a position that you were competing for and you got that position you got it so some of your co-workers or your friends or whatever are like woohoo you know or you've made some sort of progress that some people may be jealous of maybe you graduated and some people didn't quite get there they missed a class or they failed a class whatever the case may be but stand your ground whatever it is you are in a better position here okay you're in a better position to fight off whatever these blockages or whatever these um things that are trying to get in your way you are quite capable of getting past them you may have to work through it. it may take a little bit to get through them but you will be successful in the long run you will be successful so on that note see there's the four of wands now maybe you weren't sure how to get here to me that's the divine feminine the divine masculine sitting down i guess that's a bench sitting on a bench i thought it was a picnic at first having a conversation going huh good job divine feminine being in touch with your emotions you know and and, and, she, and of course divine feminine said good job divine masculine for helping me realize that 
although I was feeling a certain way to not let that overcome me and I really thought about it and I made the best decision of my life and now I'm very happy with the way things turned out and my next one's gonna say me too so let's see what your challenge is okay the king of wands so basically what I'm hearing is your challenge may be just to keep going keeping up that positive thinking that positive uh, motivation you may, may be having a hard time staying motivated with these obstacles you're looking towards success but you may have obstacles in the way that are kind of maybe blurring your vision and the king of wands is saying you know I've been in those shoes but don't do it because I didn't let those people get in my way I didn't let things get in my way I just kept going I found other ways to do it king of pentacles queen of swords the king of pentacles saying stay focused okay stay focused on your goal and the queen of swords is saying and if anybody gets in your way or if anything gets in your way you just cut it out push them aside get it out of there anybody who stands in your way of success anyone who does not support you is not for you in your life they're not your friends they're not your tribe they're not your people this person this king of pentacles may be your rock and maybe somebody who is um, masculine energy so it could be a male but it doesn't have to be it could be a father father figure stepfather uncle someone who's just like a mentor to you um but it could be a female with more masculine energy as well so you know somebody who's also very determined has that energy determined dedicated loyal loyal to you and the queen of swords is saying you know don't let anybody in who's not going to cheer for you and you're gonna know it who's not truly on your side truly supporting you get rid of them or a situation the world and the ace of swords we have the page of wands so now we're thinking of this as an adventure this is truly an adventure for us as we're moving to this new phase of our life you may have a lot of ideas on what to do maybe not sure how you're going to get them done but that's okay you know every inventor in the world many people in the world have had ideas of what they want to do with their life some stuff worked some stuff didn't I'm seeing more ants but I know they're there somewhere <laughs> just hiding in that box um, but they didn't give up they just kept if that didn't work they found something that did they kept trying and you know that's the good thing about ideas you know it's like I have things that I, I think I want to do I'm not sure how to do but I'll figure it out I'll figure it out and just think of it as an adventure it's a brand new adventure for you and moving forward from that which would be Saturday but whatever six of ones there's the there's the success so every endeavor is a success that's what I'm hearing every endeavor everything you try is a success even if it doesn't work out because you know why there's a lesson to be had there if it didn't work out then you know that that most likely wasn't for you or if that didn't work out maybe there's something different you can do in that situation that you didn't do this time that you learn from that stuff which in in time gets you to the king of pentacles you get to that point where you become the master of your domain and then you get into a position where even if you have ideas you go for it and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't that's okay i've got other ones six of cups with the wheel of fortune judgment i'm hearing specifically with the judgment card here is looking at your past self your life in the past and your past self and going with the flow and changing not changing maybe you want to open to change as you are now or if you're not you kind of going moving forward you're going to have to because things uh, change in our lives is inevitable and when we are resistant to change that's meant to happen at that time can cause a whole bunch of other problems we would rather not deal with collective and the judgment card is now taking a serious look at your past and going okay let's let's really look at my life and where I've been in the past three months four months five months six months past year really look at that and pass judgment on your own it's, it's being self-aware um, a spiritual <clears throat> awakening a self-awareness 
of realizing, looking back and seeing where you were and how far you've come and where you want to go. So you're, it's, it's a rebirth of some sort, just kind of like the death card. These people may have been in a period of not being self-aware, not seeing things in their life as clearly. And it may have been a while. <laughs> They're skeletons now. But that's not going to stop them. They're rising from the dead. So what you thought couldn't happen may very well be happening now. There's the Four of Swords again. Come full circle. The Hermit. Right now, Collective, is it's important that you go into Hermit mode. You really think about where you... And don't let those negative thoughts in. There's that devil. Think about your truth. Not the devil. Not what other people want. Not any negative thoughts. Be honest with yourself. And be in touch with yourself. And see what you really want. Now, from this point on, thank you so much for joining. I hope you're still, if you're still here, good for you. Um, from this point on, I hope this was helpful. But from this point on, I will also be doing the Soul Searching Sunday. Which will give us some energies how we can actually look inside of ourselves. And really be scrutinizing the internal part of ourselves that will give us answers to where we need to go moving forward. So, whenever this is uploaded, you know that that's coming. Whether it's the next day, I don't know, it just depends. Um, but it will be coming. So if you subscribe and join the tribe, you will be notified when that happens. Um, so, be on the lookout for that. And um, I do appreciate you joining. I hope these are helpful. If they are, thumbs up, please. And comment down below. Let me know if anything resonated um, or any certain readings you like. I appreciate you joining. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go. I hope to see you in the next one. All right? Peace out.